Rachel, I have not seen you in weeks. Rachel, I haven't seen you in weeks. What's the difference between these two phrases? In this American English pronunciation video, you're going to learn a little bit more about the character of American English. Contractions and reductions go a long way in making you sound more American. But sometimes I have a hard time convincing my students of this. They think if I pronounce everything fully and clearly, it will be better. But the problem with that is it can end up sounding very formal, sometimes even robotic, not at all natural. You're going to hear the following conversation twice. Once with no contractions, no reductions, and only true T pronunciations. It will sound formal and stilted. Then you'll hear the conversation as Americans would speak. I hope you hear the huge difference that reductions, contractions, and habits like the flap T can make. Rachel, I have not seen you in weeks. Rach, I haven't seen you in weeks. Here, Tom said Rach instead of Rachel. Just shortening my name, a nickname that people sometimes use. Have not becomes haven't. When we have an N apostrophe T contraction, we don't release the T. Haven't instead of haven't. Haven't. I haven't seen. Rachel, I have not seen you in weeks. Rach, I haven't seen you in weeks. Rachel, I have not seen you in weeks. Rach, I haven't seen you in weeks. Where have you been? Where have you been? Where have becomes werve. Werve. Where have you been? Where have you been? Where have you been? Where have you been? Florida, did not I tell you that I would be gone? Florida, didn't I tell you that I'd be gone? Did not becomes didn't. Didn't I? Again, with an N apostrophe T contraction, we don't release the T. Didn't. That. The vowel is reduced to the schwa. The final T is a flap T because the next word begins with a diphthong. That I'd. That I'd. I would contracts to I'd. Florida, did not I tell you that I would be gone? Florida, didn't I tell you that I'd be gone? Florida. Did not I tell you that I would be gone? Florida, didn't I tell you that I'd be gone? Yes, but you have been there all this time? Yeah, but you've been there all this time? Yes becomes yeah. Not really a reduction, just a more casual word. Yeah. But has a stop T. So when we don't do a full release of the true T, it's a smoother line. You have becomes you've. Yes, but you have been there all this time? Yeah, but you've been there all this time? Yes, but you have been there all this time? Yeah, but you've been there all this time? Well, I have had a bunch of weddings to go to. Well, we had a bunch of weddings to go to. Oops, I messed this one up by saying I have had in the first dialogue and we had in the second. Can you guess what I would reduce I have had to? You've got it. I've had. I've had. Well, I have had a bunch of weddings to go to. Well, we had a bunch of weddings to go to. Well, I have had a bunch of weddings to go to. Well, we had a bunch of weddings to go to. They have all been in Florida. They've all been in Florida? They have becomes they've. They have all been in Florida. They've all been in Florida? They have all been in Florida. They've all been in Florida? I would swear that we have had this conversation already. I'd swear that we've had this conversation already. I would becomes I'd. I'd swear. The D is light. That. The vowel changes to the schwa and we end with a stop T because the next word begins with a consonant. That, that, that we. We have becomes we've. I would swear that we have had this conversation already. I'd swear that we've had this conversation already. I would swear that we have had this conversation already. I'd swear that we've had this conversation already. I guess it is possible I forgot. I guess it's possible I forgot. It is becomes it's. I guess it is possible I forgot. 
I guess it's possible I forgot. I guess it is possible I forgot. I guess it's possible I forgot. Or I am having deja vu. Or I'm having deja vu. I am contracts to I'm. Or I am having deja vu. Or I'm having deja vu. Or I am having deja vu. Or I'm having deja vu. No, you are right. We have talked about this. No, you're right. We've talked about this. You are becomes you're. Right. We use a stop T here. You're right. You're right. We have becomes we've. No, you are right. We have talked about this. No, you're right. We've talked about this. No, you are right. We have talked about this. No, you're right. We've talked about this. Welcome home anyway. Thanks. Welcome home anyway. Thanks. Welcome home anyway. No reductions, contractions, or T pronunciations. Welcome home anyway. Thanks. Welcome home anyway. Thanks. Welcome home anyway. Thanks. Welcome home anyway. Thanks. So many options for reductions and contractions in such a short conversation. Now let's listen to the whole conversation. Once without these tips, and once with. What is your sense of the overall character? Rachel, I have not seen you in weeks. Where have you been? Florida, did not I tell you that I would be gone? Yes, but you have been there all this time? Well, I have had a bunch of weddings to go to. They have all been in Florida. I would swear that we have had this conversation already. I guess it is possible I forgot. Or I am having deja vu. No, you are right. We have talked about this. Welcome home anyway. Thanks. Rach, I haven't seen you in weeks. Where have you been? Florida. Didn't I tell you that I'd be gone? Yeah, but you've been there all this time? Well, we had a bunch of weddings to go to. They've all been in Florida? I'd swear that we've had this conversation already. I guess it's possible I forgot. Or I'm having deja vu. No, you're right. We've talked about this. Welcome home anyway. Thanks. To keep going with this, go back and listen to the conversation when it sounded American and natural. Turn it into a Ben Franklin exercise and then practice the conversation with a friend or by yourself. If you're not sure what a Ben Franklin exercise is, click here or look in the description. That's it. And, and thanks, thanks so much, much for using Rachel's English. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe. Either click here or in the description. But don't stop there. Keep learning with my American English and Real Life playlist, my Ben Franklin playlist, or my Word of the Week series. Click on me to check out my channel where there are hundreds of great videos. Don't forget to visit my website where you can learn about my premium membership and online courses.